Hey guys, today, I'm gonna show you how to add a 3D, or CGI to a real footage without having to stress with Blender's tedious camera tracking, and without using any third-party plugins. If you've ever struggled with Blender's camera tracking, don't worry, you're not alone. And I'm here to make it easy for you. Blender is a powerful software for creating 3D models, characters, and environments. However, when it comes to camera tracking, it may not be as simple as some other tools like After Effects, where in a few clicks, the footage is already tracked. Using After Effects and Blender together to create a stunning VFX, creates an insane results, and the best part of that, it's completely free. At the end of this video, you'll be able to easily create an awesome VFX that you can apply on your own project. So, let's dive in. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated on my tutorials. Let's get started. Let's drag our footage into the timeline. Go to the tracker panel, if you don't see it, go to window, and make sure the tracker is checked. Now, with the footage selected, click the track camera. Open the advanced tab, and turn on detailed analysis, and now the camera tracker will analyze the footage, and this will take a little while. Once done, you're gonna see the tracking marks. Let's turn on the render track points, so that when you play the footage, the tracking markers still show up. Now, select the area where we want to place our 3D object, for me. I'll place it here. Then hit right click, then create solid and camera. This will then create a plane around the area that we just selected, and also the camera motion extracted from the footage. We can now turn this render track points off. As you can see, the plane in the footage is perfectly tracked into the scene. Now, we need to bring this plane, and 3D camera track data into Blender. To do that, we're gonna need this free After Effects to Blender script from GitHub. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. All you have to do is just hit this download raw file button. Once downloaded, go to After Effects, go to File, Script, Install Script File, then click on the downloaded script. Once installed, select the solid layer and 3D camera layer, go to script panel, and now you should see this export composition date to JSON script. Once pressed, a Blender export window will pop up. In here, you have the option to bring only the work area tracking data, the layer duration, or the entire composition. I'm gonna check the export selected layers only, it's because I only want to export the solid layer and the 3D camera tracker into Blender. You also have the option to select a folder where you want to save the After Effects tracking data. I'm gonna name this as AE to Blender Tracker. Hit save, then export. To enable Blender to read this JSON file from After Effects, we need to download this import composition to Blender script, which is also from GitHub. I'll leave the link also in the description below. Click download raw file, open up Blender, go to edit, preferences, add-ons, hit install, and click the import composition to Blender file that we just downloaded. Once installed, go to file, import. Then you should now see the option, After Effects Composition Data, converted.json. Let's click this option, then open the JSON file exported from After Effects. Once imported, you should now see the 3D camera and solid plane layer we exported from After Effects. I'm gonna scale up the camera a bit. As you can see, the camera is moving towards the plane, which matches the camera movement in our footage in After Effects. Now, 
Select the camera, go to camera panel, then check the background images, add image, hit movie clip, then search for the after effects footage we just tracked earlier. Hit open clip. Next, go to camera view. As you can see, this one matches the scene that we have in After Effects. A tracked plane with the moving camera. But the problem is the plane is not perfectly tracked. It's because Blender starts at frame 1, while After Effects starts at frame 0. To fix that, just click this thing, then move the keyframes one frame forward. Now, when we play the footage, the plane is now perfectly tracked. Next, we can now add the 3D object of our choice on the tracked plane. For me, I'm gonna add monkey object, then place it above the plane. Scale up the plane a bit so that there will be enough room for the shadow later on. Now, I'm gonna add glass material to the monkey to simulate the reflection of environment texture that we're gonna create later on. Select the monkey, go to material panel, new, increase metallic to 1, roughness, 0, transmission 1, then IOR, 1.333. To make it more realistic, change render engine into cycles, GPU compute. Next, to simulate the lighting of the real footage around the 3D object, we will add an environment texture. To do that, Add another window to the left side, go to shader editor, click in to hide the side panel on the right side, change the object to world, then click new. Next, let's add environment texture, click shift A, then add environment texture. You can use your own real footage or you can download an HDRI environment for free, on websites like HDRI Haven. For me. I'm gonna use my own real footage as environment texture. Now, go to render view. As you can see our footage now becomes environment texture. Meaning it does not only appear in the background, but on the entire surrounding of the scene. But the problem is, our environment texture does not match our background scene, so there will be a mismatch in the exposure and lighting from the background scene into our 3D object. To fix that, we're gonna adjust the location and rotation of our environment texture with respect to the 3D object. To do that, select the environment texture node, hit Ctrl T, this will bring the mapping and texture coordinate node. If this did not work, you have to activate first the Node Wrangler add-on, into the Blender Preferences. Now, adjust the Z rotation in the Mapping node, and its Z location until the environment texture matches with the background scene. This now looks good. Now go to Render View. Activate the Shadow Catcher on the Object Panel, this is to replace the plane with shadow. To make the shadow appear, go to the render panel, film, turn on transparent to hide the environment texture. As you can see, our 3D object is now casting shadow on our footage. Next, shade smooth the 3D object by pressing W on the keyboard and hit shade smooth. Now, the 3D object clearly reflects the elements in our environment texture. Ok, let us now bring this to After Effects for compositing. To do that, go to Output. Make sure the frame starts with 1. Then go to folder where you want to save the 3D object. For the file format, I'll select PNG, RGBA to render the 3D object transparent background, color depth make it 8, then hit Render Animation. Now, this is gonna render out the 3D object with the 3D camera movement extracted from our footage. Once done rendering, go back to After Effects. Then import the rendered 3D object into the real footage. To do that, go to File, Import, File, search for the save location of the file then select just the first frame then click Import. Now, drag the 3D object clip to the timeline, then let's hide this solid layer. As you can see here, the 3D object is not perfectly tracked into the scene. 
it's because there is a frame rate mismatch. Our original footage frame rate is 25, but the rendered clip from Blender is 30 frames per second. It's because After Effects automatically imports image sequences 30 frames per second. To fix that, just right click, interpret footage, main, then change the frame rate of the rendered clip into 25, then hit OK. As you can see the 3D object is now perfectly tracked into the scene. Ok guys let me know if you wanna see more tutorial like this, comment down below, if you guys are not subscribed yet to this channel, hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna do more tutorials in my upcoming videos, so stay tuned.